Aha! You have been deceived. As is customary on this date, I have undertaken a minuscule amount of tomfoolery to deceive you, the viewer, into believing that this is my 1,000 subscriber special, but it is in fact my 500 subscriber special, at 900 subscribers. Anyways, with that out of the way, thank you all so much for 500 subscribers, and the 400 that have come since then. I said I was going to do a workshop tour, so that's what I'm finally getting around to in this video. It'll be mostly unscripted, but I'll jut in here and there with some more specific info. Without further ado, enjoy the rest of the video, and thanks again for the support. Well, hello everybody, and welcome to a workshop tour. This is being filmed on a GoPro with no screen, so I can't really see what I'm looking at, but hopefully it's fine. Maybe if I hold up this light, there'll be, you know, a bit extra. Um, so yeah, this is my workspace for design and assembly. Um, any manufacturing, like, drilling, or, okay, sometimes drilling, but, uh, especially grinding. Grinding in particular, I never do in here, because it's also my bedroom, um, and that would be a bad idea. So, um, from left to right to begin with, over here we have a CNC machine that I don't use, we have some ornaments, we have a vinyl record, we have a stunning tapestry, uh, which I found in an op shop. Um, and that's about it. The CNC I used to use, haven't for a while, it'll probably be in a video eventually. Um, moving on, we come to where pretty much most of my work happens, um, so you can kind of get a pretty good idea of the workflow here. So, um, initially I sketch everything on paper in a book, um, like this. I just find it easier to work stuff out that way than on a computer. Um, and then currently I'm using Fusion, um, I moved on from... 1, 2, 3D design, which I don't know how I used for as long as I did. Um, and then, yeah, I just designed on here. It's got three monitors, although this one doesn't work. Um, at the moment, back here is kind of all sorts of you know, media stuff. It's got batteries and SD cards and all sorts of stuff I don't really want to lose. Um, kind of a rubbishy keyboard. Uh, got some dice, got my... Um, I don't use the soldering in here, but I keep it here. Uh, so I bought a TS-100 recently, which... Um, couldn't recommend highly enough. Fantastic soldering iron. Um, and that I just keep in this little stand over here. Um, second monitor. I use, I have a laptop. I don't have a PC. I'll probably get a PC in the future, but right now, using a laptop. Um, apart from that, there's not an enormous amount to see in this section. Keep my multimeter back there. Um, moving on, we have one of my favorite pieces of older technology, which is this old clock TV radio combination you know I don't use any of them really but it just looks so good I really like how it fits into this whole setup um, and then on top of that just an assortment of ornaments that I've just collected over the years got some pens got this uh, got this weird egg thing I found the other day I don't know what that's about but um it's there uh, moving on over we have where I usually do my filming um and this is kind of an explanation as to why I haven't been uploading recently is because one, elephant in the room, uh, big project. Can't tell you what it is yet because then it won't work. Um, but it's promising. Some of you can probably figure it out. Um, if I go in here and do this, you'll see that I didn't. I haven't plugged it in. Never mind. <laughs> I'll cut in some footage here of it working. Anyways, so yeah, this is usually where I do filming. I have this single softbox, which is on this arm that allows me to move it out of the way when I need to. Um, and I just kind of film in this spot right here. It's good because if I'm editing and I need an extra shot, I have the camera set up right here, ready to use, which is really nice. Um, but at the moment, that's taken up by this piece of plywood supported on a, um, a, uh, a chair. So <laughs> haven't been filming for that reason and also just because I've been flat out on this project. Um, down here you see a smaller project which I might release soon. I also see one of my favourite tools I've acquired recently. I'll be doing a video on this on its own. Um, and while we're on the topic of tools, we'll come down here to... This is 
material bin and tool bin for all of the tools I use frequently. Most frequent ones are on the top, less frequent ones are hidden in there. Um, I just, I'd like to organize this better, but just don't have the space. So this works fine. Um, this is part of an old easel that I store it all in. Uh, got my drill down there, some more tools. Um, and it looks like a mess, but it works for me. And they're nice and easy to reach, so, yeah. This, this carpet is, like, really thick, so I don't like to have to pull my chair out more than I need to, which sounds really lazy, but trust me, it's really annoying uh, having to do it frequently, so um, having stuff within arm's reach is very convenient. Um, moving on over, you can see some more of this thing, this, this mystery project, which uh, all will be revealed in due time. We have the chop saw, which again, don't really use in here, it's just in here. Uh, we have my Audi screwdriver kit, we have my Audi grinder, which I thought was going to be really useful, but I actually found next to no use for, and um, I've barely used it, surprisingly. I wouldn't use it in here anyways. Again, grinding, bad idea. Um, anyways, then moving on, we have this lovely unit over here. What could this be? This is a reel-to-reel -reel recorder that I found um, dumped down a cliff off the side of a road, and I was like, damn, I don't need that, but that is really cool, and I want it. Uh, so now I have it. <laughs> um, it's kind of broken, it's got like this, this is missing, this is snapped rather, I'm going to 3D print another bit there. This roller is missing, no clue how I'm going to replace that, because this is all beautifully machined, and I don't have the money or the skills to do that myself, but it's just a really cool machine, and it electrically all seems to function well, so I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's kind of just here at the moment. Same with this. This is just another thing that I like the look of. Um, yeah, there's not much use to it. Um, but yeah, already, that's most of where I get all my work done. It's just this space right here. Um, I do all my filming, designing, and assembly here, and then it's just hacksawing and grinding that I do out in the shed, and by shed I mean broom closet with a vice in it. So there's not much else to see on this side, but moving around, we have the back of my door which has a bunch of random stuff. We have climbing gear, a sword, a broken guitar, and an American flag. Um, which, yeah, it's just stuff. Uh, down here, slightly more interesting, we have my, um, kind of extra supplies area. Might need this. Uh, which has some timber that I'm letting try out. It has uh, just some various nicer bits of timber that I don't want to get lost. It has some aluminium. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. Here we have lenses and other camera equipment. Uh, random stuff, parts. If I go down here, this is just the parts bin from countless taken apart things over the years. Uh, this. If I need a part, it's probably here. Oh, and that reminds me, coming back over here, what is all this? This, these boxes, these five or so boxes, and all these trays of screws as well, are all from photocopiers. So I went through, I went through a period of time where I just got like seven free big broken photocopiers off of, off of the internet, and I took them apart and I got a wealth of parts from them. Let's see if I move this aluminium. Yeah, I'll see all these, all of these lovely um, stepper motors. There's another whole box of stepper motors underneath. Big DC motors, uh, you know, all sorts of stuff. There's some servos in there. Really cool. Um, if you need parts, all these wires too. I've literally never bought wires. I just take them out of things, and uh, it does the job for me. So. Um, yeah, if you need parts, take apart photocopiers. I think that's pretty common knowledge on the internet these days, but fantastic source of um, metal rods too. All of the um, like stainless steel rods, for like if you want to build printers and stuff, you can get them from photocopiers too, which is just really nice. But um, anyways. Okay, moving on over to here now. Um, sorry, I had to cut there because I doxed myself. Um, I've got to keep this kind of a tight shot because I think over there is more stuff that would dox myself, so that's what's made filming this video so difficult, it's just like, oh god, I don't want to dox myself, but anyways, um, up the top here we have my camera collection, 
there's nothing expensive here. Half of these, I found a few of these in hard rubbish. Most of these were under ten dollars. Some were two dollars. Um, whole assortment of more cameras and stoves. Uh, here we see something interesting. <laughs> there's a watchmaking lathe back there, but in front of it is my first ever attempt at making a lathe, and um, this thing is a monstrosity. I'll tell you what. Uh, kind of worked barely <laughs> maybe uh yeah we'll leave it at that i'll probably end up taking all the brass off it one day um i didn't buy the brass for it that's a old variable resistor which i found dumped down the side of a highway uh we have a sign there we have some old lego moving down to here we have um this isn't a camera bag this is a box of D, &D dice we have a, another lathe, which I still need to set up, dial indicator holder, health potion, we have a box of screws, bunch of drill bits, more drill bits, box of springs, this is kind of the, this is the failed prints box that didn't actually fail, they just were incorrect. Down here is one of two failed prints boxes, the other one is out with the printer. I'm not actually going to show the printer, it's just a printer on a bench, there's nothing special about it, I haven't upgraded it. I've done nothing of the sort, um, but yeah, I would probably be able to fill that IKEA cube with waste almost at this point, which is kind of sad. Anyways, that's all I have for this video. I'm um, kind of potentially underwhelming for 500 subscribers, but uh, it was kind of requested, so I couldn't think of a better way to do it. Um, so thanks as always for watching, and I'll see you guys, hopefully, for the real reveal of this thing in the future, whatever this mystery machine could be. So thanks always for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.